What is up YouTube? It's Lions Fan Express coming at you with that man to man press. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about quarterback prospect Anthony Richardson from Florida. Uh, he's getting a lot of hype right now, uh, leading up to the NFL draft. And there's a lot of buzz um, around this prospect, uh, just from the national media and former executives as well. So we're gonna dive on in, see what they're saying about him and kind of just go over it, break it down and kind of, and I'll give you guys my thoughts and opinions on that as well. So starting off with uh, J Jeremy Fowler, uh, he said that Anthony Richardson, um, apparently he's a very like uh, interesting prospect when it comes to uh, evaluation from a lot of these teams and scouting departments because some of these teams have first round grades on him that believe that he can, you know, he's a first round pick. Other teams and uh, executives think that he's like a fourth round pick. So there's a really huge gap in between the evaluation process when it comes to this player. Again, he's a very polarizing player and uh, it makes a lot of sense just given his talent, but also his just his rawness as a, uh, as a player. Um, you know, again, he says that he's immensely talented um, and then that really should kind of outweigh his almost like the flaws that he has in his game just based off solely off the talent that he possesses as a player. And he also went on to describe him um, as a, almost like as a combination of Cam Newton and Justin Fields. And those are two former first round uh, quarterbacks um, that have very similar play styles to him. And I have to especially agree with the Cam Newton. Um, that's kind of my comp for him heading into this year. I, th I think he's even more of a prospect than Cam Newton was obviously coming out of college. Um, and I think Justin Fields, again, the similarities are there. I can, I can sound, kind of see that as well, just because Justin Fields, again, immense talent, has a you know good arm, um, really great athlete, and but you know struggles time, at times to you know deliver the ball uh, in an accurate and timely manner. So uh, basically, you know, that's what they had to say about that. Um, and then also some other social media outlets are just saying that. Uh, like Matt Miller and the ESPN gang, they were basically giving their two cents on this player, saying that like a lot of them are high on him. They think that he's, uh, you know, a really good prospect, and even kind of comparing him a little bit to like a, a Josh Allen and a Trey Lance um, type prospect because he's got those inaccuracy issues, but he has such talent as a player that you know they would really be willing to you know take him with a high pick, just based solely off the fact that he's got all this talent that he can use. Um, to be a great quarterback in the NFL. And I mean, I, I get what they're saying. Um, I think a lot of times we like to compare quarterbacks and be like, well, he's like this player, so he's gonna be like this. And, uh, you know, even I fall into that category at times, but, um, and while I'm not saying Anthony Richardson is, you know, a bad quarterback at all, I'm just saying that uh, I think it's very widely known that he's a prospect, like, he, like he, he needs to develop. He's not NFL ready by any means. In fact, I thought he honestly probably should have came back for another year in college. Uh, just so he could develop um, and boost up his draft stock, stock a little bit. But it seems like his draft stock's already going up uh, just, you know, solely based off of what people were seeing on film and on his highlight tape. You know, I looked at the consensus board and a lot of, like the average uh, spot that he's really getting taken in is like the, like in the first round, like in the mid first round at pick 15. But I've seen him go as high as the top 10 at like, you know, the nine spot. And, you know, honestly, I could, again, I kind of predicted his, his stock was just going to continue to rise and rise and rise, especially once he hits the combine and he has his pro days because people are going to love, fall in love with just the raw potential that he possesses as a player. Um, and some people are going as far as saying that he's quarterback number two in this class ahead of CJ Stroud, ahead of uh, Will Levis, and ahead of Hendon Hooker. Um, so, which to me is a very interesting, like, Again, it's just a different evaluation because some people are, you know, looking at him saying, oh, he's a better prospect than these guys where, you know, I don't necessarily feel the same way. Like, it, it's to me, it's a huge gamble. It really is. It's one of those things where it's like, you don't know if he's going to turn out in the NFL. You don't know if he's going to, like, become a great quarterback. Like, he has the potential to do it. He's got all the talent in the world. But when you watch his tape, he's not an NFL-ready quarterback. He needs time to develop. So you're really banking on your coaching staff and the ability to, you know, teach him the NFL system, offensive system, get him ready and groomed for a year or two before he really can step on the field and produce. Um, so ultimately, and when you compare it to like a lot of these other quarterbacks, you know, a lot of these guys are more NFL-ready than he is. And they, they produced in college at a consistent rate. And uh, they're definitely more... Um, high floor guys that are ready to come in and step in and don't have to necessarily like you know 
sit back a year. But it's interesting because like if you told me like if I had to pick a player just solely based off potential um, and I had like a golden ticket, Anthony Richardson is definitely the prospect that I would be curious about for sure. Because again, like if he if he hits his potential, again, he's like he really is like a Cam Newton kind of quarterback. Great arm, great talent, athletic, uh, just elusive. Uh, but then you just watch all these like things and consistencies that he has in his game. And it's like he, he's not NFL ready. He's not, uh, you know, can he develop into what everyone hype, is hyping him up to be? And right now, I mean, it's and I'm going to be honest, guys, it's Lions season two. We got to remember that once we hit the off season, it's Lions season. It's going to continue. You're going to continue to hear sources. And I'm not saying every source is wrong, but you're going to continue to hear sources, even if saying that like basically you know he's uh they have him as their number one quarterback and that they would take him at the, at the two spot if they could you know it's just just to get people riled up and thinking and you know questioning like if they should trade up or not and excuse me but um ultimately i mean it's one of those things where like anthony richardson again great talent um i just i i understand the hype i really do but don't be surprised again if you just keep continue to hear more things coming out about him because they're going to talk about him because one it's it's the nfl offseason they're trying to find news and things to talk about and two it's just it's lion season like they're not going to be all like you know oh well i, I really like this prospect better but um because that would have no strategic advantage when it comes to the nfl draft they're not going to tell you exactly who they want or what they're looking for in a quarterback because they want to keep that those cards close to their vest um, so that they can have an advantage when it comes to trading and knowing who's going to be, you know, picked before or after. So, um, again, to me, Anthony Richardson, he's he's my number four quarterback. I don't even have him as a first round grade, to be honest. Um, I have him like as a maybe a maybe a second, but really more like a third round pick, if that. Just because I just I'm not bought on him pan, like just panning out in the NFL, like because again, it's a risky it's a risky move. Now, here's the thing. If a team wanted to take him in the first round, I totally get that. And I'm not going to kill them for that because I understand where they're coming from because they see that potential. And th this kind of breaks down to like the Lions. Uh, a lot of mock drafts and media are starting to mock him to 18. And for, you know, for the Detroit Lions, uh, that's been kind of a popular theme that's been popping up over the last couple weeks. And again, I'm not going to kill him for it. I mean, I can see Brad, if, if Brad Holmes loved the player and that was his quarterback prospect that he wanted to take a chance on who better than to take Anthony Richardson and sit him behind golf for a year or two and let him develop because you already have a you know a good quarterback that can play and if this guy pans out that's awesome then he can step in right away or step in after a couple seasons and be you know one of the most talented quarterbacks in the league but if he doesn't turn out well then you can still at least you know try to trade him um and then gain some more capital or at least have a really solid backup um, in case things, you know, do not, you know, end up working out. But so there's multiple options when it comes to taking him. Um, I can understand why that, you know, people would be hyped up on him. Uh, and right now, it, it looks like his, again, his stock continues to go up and up and up. And the rumors are saying right now that he's not going to last till 18, that he's going to be picked well before that. So uh, some people are even, I think, going to be suggesting that, you know, I think as the weeks go by, there's going to be rumors and speculations that he might get picked with the second overall pick, you know, or the fourth overall pick, just solely based off the fact that, um, again, they're getting tired of mocking Bryce Young and CJ Stroud. And I hate to say this, but Will Levis in those spots. So they want to spice things up. And also, even if the GMs like said all this stuff, even if they're like the scouting report uh, departments are saying this again, don't take it for face value because it's line season. They're trying to get people bought on this this uh, this little bait that they're you know hanging around trying to get people to trade up and you know pick people and they're just again it's just it's just a strategy that a lot of teams are doing uh, not to say that you know teams don't feel that he's a first round pick I'm sure that there's a handful of teams that think that he's a first round pick just based off his talent that they think they can get the next Josh Allen um, from him but interesting to see where Brad Holmes uh, evaluates him really I'm actually really interested out of really all these other players because. So far, it's shown that Brad Holmes doesn't, you know, he hasn't drafted a quarterback so far in the two years. Um, it'll be interesting to see, you know, if he even considers that as an option, if he even thinks that, you know, if that's even a quarterback that he's willing to take, you know, with the pick. 
because ultimately you can say all you want like oh you need a quarterback or you can you need this position but you got to remember it's, it's got to be the right fit for the team too because a team might you know like a quarterback but if he's not a right fit for the team you know so, solely based off of you know certain factors they're not going to take him so that's kind of just my spiel on it um i thought i'd kind of just jump in and again kind of give you guys my thoughts and opinions and what's going around on the league really interesting stuff for sure um definitely gonna you know take it with a grain of salt don't just buy into it like you say oh well anthony richardson everyone has him as a you know a top pick now or top 10 pick so he's got to be such a great player like go do your research please watch the film again you're gonna see some really great things if you just watch his highlight tape you're gonna think he's the best thing since you know sliced bread but if you really break it down and watch his film you'll be like oh, okay i understand why he's not nfl ready because some of these things that he does is it's not what an nfl quarterback should do so yep i thought i'd just give you guys you know kind of a some news on that uh, if you guys like the content like the news uh kind of trying to keep up to date not just with lions news but also and root news around the nfl as well just so we're kind of keeping it um as a whole but we're still focusing locally on our you know detroit lions as always um if you guys like the content be sure to like comment and subscribe and as always go lions